Okay, this is now the five minute tarot for the 27th of June 2017. And it's a second question from Renee who wanted to know what's the difference between the aces of the suits and the pages? Because both both can represent a beginning, the ace and the page, and they can represent inspiration or ideas leading to something new. So what's the difference between the ace and the page? So here are a couple of couple of ideas for you to think about and play with. And one is that the, the ace is number one, and one is a beginning, but it also represents unity, right? So it contains everything. It's complete. Um, whereas the page represents a youth and a young person who may or may not grow up into somebody worthwhile. Um, but because they're young, they're inexperienced in that particular area. So you can have somebody, you can have an old man who's just learning how to work a computer. So when it comes to working with a computer, he's a page. So he may be old and experienced in different kinds of areas, but in this particular instance, working with a computer that he's never done before, um, he's a page, right? So page doesn't just have to be somebody young. It can be somebody who is new to something or new to a certain kind of situation. So the ace, because it's unity, isn't experienced either, but the ace has knowledge or a direction that it's going to follow. So I, I was thinking, to give you an example, think of an acorn, right? An acorn, an acorn contains the whole oak tree in potential. Um, and even though the acorn, even though the, the whole tree, the whole acorn tree hasn't developed yet, it's there within the acorn and given the right conditions like water and sunlight and so on and give it enough time and the whole huge tree if you've ever seen an oak tree a big oak tree that's already contained and is already complete within the tiny acorn and that's what you're dealing with with an ace you've got everything contained in potential and with the right conditions and time is going to develop fully into it's like the essence of the suit whatever it happens to be um whereas a page if you think of the page as a young person the page it may the, the page male or female may have potential in the same way that the ace has the potential or the acorn has the potential of whole, containing the whole oak tree. So the page has potential, but that the, the potential doesn't have to develop because young people and pages can get distracted or they can be seduced or they can go off the rails. And you probably know this for yourself when you were young, that there were times when you were talked into something that got you off track, for instance. So pages can go off the track in a way that an acorn can't because an acorn can only develop in an oak tree. But a page, even though it's a page of cups, it doesn't have to develop into the queen of cups. It can get sidetracked and end up as nothing. Or the page can become something that it's really not, not being true to the page of cups. And I'm thinking of this footballer called Theo Walcott. And he plays for Arsenal, a London football team. And when he was, I think he was 17, and he was chosen to go with the England squad to the World Cup somewhere. So he went with the team. He didn't play, but um, he was this prodigy and he was just going to be the, the, the new face of English football and this brilliant world-class footballer. So um, he's still playing and he has five minutes now and again playing for Arsenal. And he maybe has a, a 10 minute period in a game and people start talking about, oh, yeah, great potential. But the thing is, he's like he's not 17 anymore. He's 28, I think. So he has he had potential, but he hasn't done a lot with it. He promised a lot and he occasionally shows flashes of of brilliance. You can see your flashes of good play. 
But really, when you get right down to it, it hasn't delivered. And a page can do the same. They can promise a lot, but not actually deliver. So if you're a page, or if a page comes up, you need to also look for cards that show strength of purpose, let's say, to keep them on the on track. Or maybe a card that shows belief in the self or a belief in a particular direction to go in. And maybe dedication too. So that because it's so if you've got strength of purpose and belief in dedication, the page is going to fulfill his or her potential. But if you don't find those qualities like strength of purpose and so on in other cards with this in the spread, then it's not going to happen. It's just, it's not going to fail, but it's not going to fulfill its potential. And the, the word is page, and I was thinking of, I was sitting for a few minutes thinking about this, and I thought of a page in a book. So you can open a book at random and look at the page. Maybe you, you get lucky and you pick the contents page, so you can glance through the contents and get an idea of what the book is about. But you may open the book and choose a page and all you get is like four lines of text because it's the end of a chapter and you read it but you don't really know what's going on and you're not in any position to judge if it's worth reading the whole book. So a page can give you a lot or it can give you very little. And um, I was thinking about um, an example of, let's say you're really lucky and you pick a, a page that has an extremely interesting, um, a lot of story on that one page where there's something described or an incident that gives you a sense of the flavour of the book and it, it can make you want to read the whole book because it's it. And I was thinking, what, what can I tell you that I enjoyed? And there's a book called Treason by Orson Scott Card. And there's a bit in it where um, the hero and somebody he meets on this planet, they climb up this rock face. And by the time they get to the top of the of the piece of rock, they look back and the rock where the, there had been a path and there had been hand and footholds, those smoothed out. So there was no way down this rock face. And the only way back down was to jump off. And the hero didn't want to do it. And the, the person that they, he was with, the guide, explained to him that um, the only way down was to jump off. And if you meant ill and harm to the planet, when you hit the ground, you would die. But if you didn't mean harm to the planet and it knew it could trust you, then you would be saved. So the hero can't do anything else but jump off. So he jumps off, he hits the ground, and as he hits the ground, the earth becomes soft and gathers him up, and he, he sinks down into the ground, and then it lifts him up and deposits him on the surface of the earth, or the surface of the ground. Because the, the planet knew, the earth knew, that the hero didn't mean it any harm and didn't want to do any damage. So because it didn't want to damage, the, he didn't want to damage the earth, the earth was not going to damage him. And that was on one page. And so I think my idea is if you read that page, you say, oh, this sounds good. I think I'll read the whole book. So the ace is like the essence of the suit. But the page is a young version of the suit that may or may not develop into someone or something that's worthwhile and valuable. Um, the value of the ace is already there in the same way that the oak tree is already contained within the acorn. And it just needs the right conditions or maybe we say compatible conditions if it's going to flourish. So if you want to add something, you have comments or questions about the ACE and the page, leave them below and we'll take them from there. Okay, thanks very much. I'll see you tomorrow.